Hi, my name is Lindsay Tagawa, and I'm currently a senior in civil and environmental engineering here at UH Manoa. So here at UH Manoa, we have a total enrollment of around 17,500 students, and around 12,500 of those students are undergraduates. Our tuition is around 11,000 per year, and housing is around 13,000 per year. So if you think about the cost of in-state tuition plus housing, it's still a lot less than out-of-state tuition anywhere else. We are a Research One institution. We have Division One athletics, as well as study abroad programs or exchange programs if you are interested in that. Just a little bit of facts about UH Manoa is that we are the top 1% of worldwide universities according to Round University ranking, and we're one of the top 50 public universities in research expenditures by the National Science Foundation. Something really unique about UH Manoa is that we're one of the only five universities that are designated as a land, sea, space, and sun grant research institute. So when you think about other places, they'll only have one or two of those, but we have all four because of our geographic location. So engineering here at UH Manoa. Engineering is when you apply mathematics and science to produce ideas and products that benefit our society. Here at UH Manoa, we have mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, computer engineering, as well as civil and environmental engineering. But we also added on two new majors since the fall of 2019. So we have construction engineering as well as engineering science, which encompasses aerospace engineering as well as biomedical engineering. So those new majors that we added on are very sought out and in high demand from upcoming students. So that gives them the option where they didn't have before to get their bachelors here. So just a little bit of facts about the College of Engineering itself is that we have a total enrollment of around 1,200 students and we have around 151 graduate students and 302 students are in pre-engineering. Pre-engineering is if you didn't meet the requirements from high school to get into the College of Engineering, but that is okay because you'll still be on track with all the rest of the students and then you'll just apply into the college a little later after your one, after one or two years. So our average graduation rate is around 4.5 years, and that's just dependent on the student. If you came in with pr credits prior to college, then you could graduate as early as three and a half years. But if you took co-op programs, internships, or maybe you did study abroad or exchange, then it could take a little longer. For example, one of our students, an old ESA, had taken off a semester from school, and he did a co-op program with Tesla. So it's just dependent on the opportunities that you get during your college career. Our largest discipline is mechanical engineering. And here at UH Manoa, there's around 23% of female students. But when I look at my classes, it doesn't seem to really be an issue. It seems pretty split down the middle, in my opinion. And we also have a student faculty ratio of around 15 to 1. That is a really low student to faculty ratio and that's really good because you can make a relationship with your professors. If it's a class of maybe like a 300 to one, you're just another student on your professor's roster and they won't know your name, they're not gonna know anything about you. But it's really good to have a low student to faculty ratio because the professor gets to know you and you can build that relationship, which is really important as you go on through your college career. Here at the College of Engineering, we have international and nationally renowned faculty. For example, we have Dr. Najad, who is in the Guinness Book of World Records for having the smallest carbon nanotubing. We have 90% of our courses taught by PhD faculty. A lot of the time at other colleges or at other programs, you'll be taught simply by a TA or maybe a grad student. But here at UH Manoa, we find it important that students are being taught by experts in the field and the faculty really focus on teaching the next generation of engineers along with their research. We have really great undergraduate research opportunities. You can start as early as your freshman year. A lot of the time at other colleges, you can't really start till your junior or senior year. But here at UH Manoa, we think it's important for students to start early so that when they do get to their junior or senior year, they'll be ready to take on those higher roles because they, they would have had the experience. We have really great hands-on engineering design classes as well as state-of-the-art instructional computer labs. So you'll have everything you'll need here at the College of Engineering. You'll have all the programs, you'll have the 3D printing, the laser cutting, everything you need is here. 
Looking at the classroom and beyond, we have one-on-one -on -one faculty advising. Every semester, you meet with your advisor just to make sure you're on track to graduate or if you have any questions on your courses, they can help you out that way. And we also have career fairs every semester and we have over 90 industries coming to this career fair. It's a really great opportunity to get internship experience, to get full-time work. In my experience, I've gotten all of my internships by going to the career fair. And even if you're simply a freshman or if you're younger, then you can still go to the career fair. It's a really great way to get practice for when you do get into your junior or senior year. It's a great way for the industry to remember your face and to know your commitment that you've been going to the career fair since you were a freshman or a sophomore. We also have great Engineering 100 course, and it is a transitional course from high school to college. High school to college is very different and it can help you with your soft skills and to just help you transition. We also have really great student engineering organizations and clubs. They give you opportunities for travel. They give you opportunities to meet new people and to just get involved and for it to be more than just school. And we also have tutoring by honor societies. So when it gets closer to the midterms or the finals, we have students who are the top of the class who can help you out and help you study. We have a really great Engineering Ohana residential learning program. It's at Johnson Hall and there's one to two floors of strictly engineering students. And it's a really great way to know the people in your classes. In your first couple years, no matter what discipline you are, whether you're mechanical or civil or electrical, you're gonna all be taking around the same courses because you're gonna be taking your prerequisite courses like calculus, physics, all of that. So it's a really great way to form study groups. So I was actually a part of the Engineering Ohana program when I was in my freshman year. And it was a really great way to make lifelong friends. And if I needed help on physics homework that was due the next day, I could run across the hall and knock on anyone's door and get the help that I needed. It's a really great way to meet people. College is really hard to do by yourself. So if you can meet meet people and make friends, it makes it a lot easier and it makes it a lot more fun. Because in the residential learning program here at UH, in the EO program, which is Engineering Ohana, we actually have activities every month so that you can make those connections and relationships with other students. So here we have a lot of career opportunities in Hawaii. Even though we only have six majors, there's a lot of di different career paths you could go through. So for example, in civil engineering, you could go through geotechnical or structural or sustainability. You have a lot of opportunities here. So the average entry level salary for an engineer is around 55,000 to up to 70,000. So that's actually a really high starting salary despite only having a bachelor's degree. We're one of the only majors that can have that high of a salary with simply a bachelor's degree. So engineering is actually a really good work to go into. When looking at the freshman admission requirements, to get into UH Manoa, you need to have a cumulative GPA of 2.8. And to get into the College of Engineering here at UH Manoa, you need to have a cumulative GPA of 3.0 or higher. The SAT score is a 560 in reading and writing and a 540 in math. The ACT score is a 22 composite. To get into the College of Engineering, you would have had to take trigonometry, physics, and chemistry. If you didn't take those classes in high school, then that is okay. That's where you would be placed in pre-engineering, like I mentioned earlier, which is where you would take the exact same classes and just apply into the college later after your first or second year. If you have the opportunity to take AP or IB courses in your high school, I would definitely recommend to do so. If you do pass those courses and get the credit, then you'll be able to register a lot earlier than everyone else. The way that the UH system works is the more credits you have coming in, the earlier you can register. So it's a really great way to get first pick in your classes. If you don't pass those exams, and that is totally fine, I still recommend that you take the courses because you'll be familiarized with the material that you need for college. For example, I didn't take AP Calculus in high school. And therefore, when I got to college, I had a really hard time in Calc 1 because it was all new information for me. But for the people who took AP classes and AP calculus in high school, they thought it was 
such a breeze. So if you have the opportunity to take these courses, I would really recommend you to do so. When you look at your freshman schedule in the four-year plan, you can see that with every discipline, they're all going to be taking the exact same courses, which is your prerequisites like English, chemistry, calculus, history, it's all going to be the same. So if you are a little unsure of the specific discipline you want to go in when you get into college, that is totally fine because you can easily maneuver throughout the majors and you wouldn't be put behind because all the schedules are the same. So if I was a mechanical discipline, but I went through my first year and I realized, oh, I really love electrical engineering then I can easily switch into electrical engineering and it wouldn't be put behind. So it's really easy to transition throughout the disciplines if you are unsure. Here at UH Manoa, there are a lot of areas for additional support and opportunities. We have over $400,000 in scholarships for undergrads as well as graduate students. We also have a lot of research funding because we are a research one institution and it's around $8 million per year. There are a lot of opportunities to gain experience. You can gain experience through internships or co-ops, which is cooperative education programs. The experience that I've gained by being a part of internships has been invaluable to me. It has shown me what the workforce could be like and I can gain that experience as I am soon to go from college and into the work field. We also have fellowships as well as study abroad programs. If you are interested in traveling, this is a good way to do so. I've known students to go to Japan for an entire year. One of our old ESAs had went to Korea for an entire semester. So there are those opportunities here. We also have the new program, which is the BAM Pathways. It allows you to graduate with your master's in one year instead of two. This gives you the opportunity to obtain your master's at an even quicker rate so that you can get into the work field and start your career even faster. There are a lot of scholarships that are strictly for engineering students. It can be up to full tuition. I encourage you to apply for your scholarships. I know that scholarships and application essays can seem like a lot of work, but it's really good to think of it like a part-time job. When you think about how long it would take to make $500 doing a minimum wage job, you could see that that would take a really long time. If you do a scholarship application and essay for the same amount, it would take only maybe two hours of your time. So you can really see the worth that way. I really encourage you to apply for scholarships. It's a great way to obtain financial support. And also when you start doing your scholarships, you'll notice that a lot of the essay questions are similar. So you can end up reusing your scholarship essays. I really encourage you to apply for scholarships here. There's a lot of financial support that you can obtain. We have a lot of undergraduate student projects that you can be a part of here at UH Manoa. We have student projects that are called vertically integrated projects or VIPs. This is another great way to gain experience. An example could be MicroMouse. This is an electrical engineering project and they make an automotive vehicle that can make its way out of a maze on its own. This is just one of the many VIPs that we provide here at UH Manoa. You can also get involved in projects through student organizations. An example could be the Society of Automotive Engineers or SAE. They have a Formula One race car where their goal is to create a safe and working racing go-kart. They are always working on improving their design, so they are actually trying to make the vehicle electric this year, which is pretty cool. There is also the American Society of Civil Engineers or ASCE, and they have many various projects that you can be a part of. An example could be Concrete Canoe or Steel Bridge. Being a part of these projects allows great opportunities for travel. For example, every year ASCE goes up to conference and they compete at the mainland with their various projects. I was able to go up for conference in my sophomore year and it was a really great experience. I am from Oahu and I decided to stay home for college. Being a part of these projects has given me the opportunity to travel as well as still having the comfort of being at home and being with my family. We also have the Native Hawaiian Science and Engineering Mentorship Program, or NSEM. 
This program is not only for Native Hawaiians, but it is open to all students in STEM. It provides assistance, opportunities, as well as a community. You can receive academic and financial support by being a part of this program. We also have a freshman bridge program that is provided by NSEMP. So students in this bridge program can participate in faculty-driven research. This program is from mid-June to August, and you could receive paid tuition for the program with one week of orientation. Applications are usually open in February. I really encourage you to apply. This is a great program to be a part of. So here are just some takeaways and advice. I encourage you to take your AP and IB exams or to do Running Start to get some college credits. It's always good to have some credits coming in if you have the opportunity to do so. You also want to prepare as much as possible while you are still in high school. Good things to get involved with at your local high school could be robotics or programming or just anything to put you a step ahead for when you get to college. Here at UH Manal, we also provide the College of Engineering High School Internship Program. It is during the summer from your junior to senior year in high school and applications are usually open in January or February. I was actually a part of this program when I was in high school in 2016 and at that point in high school I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do but being a part of this program made me realize that engineering was the path for me. You get to be a part of faculty driven research and go on industry site visits as well as work on improving your soft skills. Being a part of this program also helped me decide that UH Manoa was the school for me. I knew that I wanted to work in Hawaii after graduating, and while being a part of this program, I learned that a lot of local companies like to hire out of UH, so that was really a no-brainer choice for me. Some of the characteristics of a great engineer is to have creativity, persistence, and have collaboration and teamwork skills. In terms of persistence, sometimes in your college career, you may encounter a time where you're just struggling to get through one of your courses. Just because you struggle in that one course doesn't mean you can't be a great engineer. For me, I really struggled with my transportation classes, but I knew I just had to keep going. That just tells me maybe I shouldn't go into transportation engineering specifically, but it doesn't mean I have to give up on engineering altogether. You also need to have a lot of collaboration and teamwork skills. You'll never be working on, an, on a project by yourself, so you need to be able to work with all walks of life. You also won't be strictly working with engineers of the same discipline or even working with people who are engineers at all. You want to also work on your writing and oral communication skills. It's not simply just math and science. You have to be able to write and communicate again with people who might not be engineers. And you also want to have these skills because you could have the greatest idea in the world, but if you cannot communicate that to others, then your idea would have no worth. Working on having these skills can make you a great engineer. So that was just some advice, and I hope this was very helpful to you. And hopefully you got to know a little more about the College of Engineering here at UH Manoa. If you have any questions, you can email us at uhmengineering at gmail.com and you can visit our website at www.eng.hawaii.edu. Thank you.